Hey guys, and welcome back to Devotion Time with Nana. <clears throat> Excuse me. So today is a devotion for Tuesday, November 21st, um, in Jesus Listens by Sarah Young. Um, I hope that for those of you that saw yesterday's video, I hope that you got some uh, enjoyment out of the end of the video where it uh, shows you some of the things that I'm thankful for, and I hope that will inspire you to look around, take a little time, um, especially this week, to see the beauty of what God's created for us to enjoy um, here on earth, um, which I'm sure pales in comparison to what heaven's going to be like. But at least he gives us um, some beautiful creations here on earth that uh, he wants us to enjoy while we're here. So let's dive right in. Glorious God, I offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving. I don't want to take any of your good gifts for granted, not even the rising of the sun. Thankfulness does not come naturally to me, but you've been training me to respond supernaturally. Your word teaches me how important it is to have a grateful attitude. Before the serpent tempted Eve in the Garden of Eden, thankfulness was a natural response. But the evil one's temptation pointed her to the one thing that was forbidden. Though the garden was full of delicious fruits that were freely available, Eve focused on the one fruit that was off limits. This negative focus darkened her mind and she succumbed to the temptation. When I focus on things that I want but can't have, or on situations that displease me, my mind also becomes darkened. I take for granted life, salvation, sunshine, loved ones, and countless other gifts from you. I look for what is wrong and refuse to enjoy life until that situation is fixed. But when I approach you with thanksgiving, the light of your presence pours into me, transforming me in the depths of my being. Help me walk, help me to walk in the light with you, Lord, delighting in you and practicing the discipline of thanksgiving. In Jesus' wondrous name, amen. So this goes, um, is in line with what I was talking about yesterday and want to continue that same train of thought and line of thinking today and, and all week long and then maybe we can carry it on into um, just a daily way of life that we stop and take time to, as the old cliche says, smell the roses, take time to stop and smell the roses. I hope you'll take time to just get along with God, whether it be in a, in a nature setting, uh, out in the nature trails or in your backyard or in the privacy of your bedroom or just wherever you may um, enjoy having a long time with the Lord and uh, maybe that will help to encourage you through your daily walk because Satan wants nothing more than to bring us all down and darken our days and make it very difficult for us to rise above the circumstances that we may be in that may not be so good and but we do have that, the power through the Holy Spirit that lives inside of us to rise above any circumstance and um, find joy somewhere along the way. I know it's, I, I struggle and I, I, I call myself out because I definitely struggle with this. Um, I can get drugged down with the best <laughs> of them and stay there. And, uh, and it's hard, it's really hard, but um, <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Satan's trying to stop this, so he put a bug in my eye. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to rise above it, and um, I'm going to move along, and I'm going to read the scripture that's provided for us in this devotion. Genesis 3.6. I'm glad God has a sense of humor. <laughs> So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree desirable to make one wise, she took of this fruit and ate. She also gave to her husband with her, and he ate. I'm gonna go on and read a little bit further. Um, it only says Genesis 3, 6, but I wanna reveal, as everybody probably already knows, but just in case, let's, let's get this reminder of what happened after she partook of the fruit. Genesis 3, 7. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked, 
and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves coverings. So the minute they partook of the fruit, their eyes were opened, sin was born, and they were embarrassed, they were ashamed. Um, that was such a devastating moment, I guess. Um, and I'm sure that they were so, so sorry, but it was too late. They had already done it. And so here we are um, in today's times, we all are born sinners. Um, but thank goodness that we have free salvation, the freedom of forgiveness. The Lord forgives us if we ask, um, he will forgive and he offers grace. And um, I'm just very thankful for all of that as well. And um, I just want to also say that if you don't know the Lord, uh, all you have to do is to ask Him into your heart. And you can talk to Him just like, like I'm talking to you. Just ask Jesus into your heart and let Him know that you understand you are a sinner. You were born a sinner. And ask for forgiveness of your sins. And um, believe that He was killed and buried in a tomb and he arose three days later um, and he came back for us he he gave us free salvation and once you accept him and you ask him into your heart and you truly believe those things you can't just you can't just it's not just a formality of just saying it you have to believe it in your heart and the lord knows if you believe it or not um, he offers free salvation free gift of salvation for us all and then once you've done that and you develop that relationship with him just by asking him into your heart and you truly believe it with all your heart then you have the power of the holy spirit because once you do that you instantly have the holy spirit that lives inside of you it's it's a wonderful wonderful thing that he has done for us he died for you he died for me um so that we might live an eternal life in heaven and we're going to live eternally somewhere so you might you better make sure that you know where you're going because if you're not going to heaven there's only one other place that you're going and that's hell and i would hate to think that anyone would perish in a burning fire forever and ever and ever in the pits of darkness that just it's devastating to even think about so i invite you to um make sure and have that uh, assurance and and the free gift of salvation that's offered to each one of us um, the next uh, scripture is Psalm 37, 4. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. That's awesome to think about. And you know, when you align your heart with the Lord's, then your desires become His desires, or, or rather, your yeah, your desires become His desires because He is the priority. He's the most important. So when you develop that relationship with Him and you want to walk in His ways, then your heart's going to be transformed. So that's awesome to think about. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. He shall bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret because of him who prospers in this way. Um, I added a little bit more to that, but uh, Psalm 116, 17. I will offer to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call upon the name of the Lord. And then uh, 1 John 1, 7. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. So I invite you to, um, once again, as I, as I said yesterday, uh, look around and find something that sparks joy um, and be thankful for it. So, uh, once again, as I did yesterday, I will put a little uh, short clip 
video at the end of this to show you just a few of the things that I'm thankful for this week. Not just this week, but I'm doing the video at the end of, of the devotion for this week. Um, just to give you a little glimpse of the things that uh, I'm thankful for and I thank Jesus for. I hope you have a blessed day and I hope this has encouraged you um, to help you get through your day. And I will see you in the next video. The things I see in this video as I was taking it reminded me to be thankful for the beautiful sun, the beautiful sunset, the sky, the trees, the rustling of the wind. I'm so thankful for all the beauty that the Lord has created for us to enjoy.